Welcome back to Excess Sports, what we call it here at Sixfinity Sports Report, your Colorado High School Connection. Brian Roth back with you. Saw earlier in the program, Ken Schott, Regis Jesuit basketball coach, picking up career win number 700. Now, if you've watched CET Sports over the past decade, you've seen our series called Colorado Coaching Legends, taking a look at some of the top high school coaches ever here in the history of the state of Colorado. Coaches like Dick Cotty from Denver Christian Basketball, pair of legendary baseball coaches, Jim Danley from from Eaton, Mark Johnson from Cherry Creek, and Tim Ottman, legendary wrestling coach at Ponderosa. Well, one of the coaches we featured in that series was Ken Shaw, as we revisit the 2010 airing of Colorado Coaching Legends. For the past 35 years, Ken Shaw has been one of the preeminent basketball coaches in the state of Colorado. Most basketball fans know Shaw from his coaching success over the last 20 years with state contending basketball teams at Rocky Mountain and Smoky Hill, and of course, the building of a basketball power at Regis. Still more fans might remember Shaw as a great young coach out on the eastern plains of Colorado, winning state titles with Yuma and Sterling in the early 1980s. And then there are the basketball aficionados that think of the basketball player, not the basketball coach, when they reminisce about Ken Shaw. Well, he's just kind of a coach's dream. I, I probably was too young to totally realize it at the time, he, uh, but I knew he was something pretty special. He was the first guy in the gym and the last guy to leave. I pretty much had to run him out. In 1966, a young minor league baseball player named Ron Vlasheen took the basketball job at Marino, a small town in northeast Colorado with a population base under 300 people. That same year in Marino, a 14-year-old kid named Ken Shaw was entering his freshman year. You know, to be in small town nowhere and to have a coach uh, and people obviously when, when he walked in didn't know how good he was because he was just out of college, he was young, but to have a guy that was that capable, that knew that much to, to walk in off the street without you know, any resume at all, it was his first job. And to have those type of, uh, to have that type of knowledge and everything, uh, we were unbelievably fortunate to, uh, for the stars to align and for us to to be together at that particular time. What people knew at the time was that Marino basketball was poised for big things. Shaw was a pure scorer, one of the best the state has ever seen. It was not that he was more physically gifted than other players. Rather, it was an impeccable work ethic that was second to none, and a love for the game of basketball that was unparalleled. You know, he never had a driver's license till he was in college never had a driver's license in high school. I mean, it's an unheard of thing because he didn't care about it. All he cared about was really sports and playing basketball mostly. I was so single focused on basketball that uh, as I look back, probably not as healthy as it should have been, but it's, uh, I, I, had, I had no hobbies, I had no, nothing else. It was basketball is what I did. And uh, I think a lot of people looked at me as kind of a, a freak a little bit and thinking that, well, he's pretty good, but geez, if I spent that much time doing it, I'd be good too. I remember one time we were eating in a restaurant in Sterling and the, this, I heard this lady, and she said it just so I could hear, she says, well, Kenny Shaw ought to really be good because Ron Vlasheen just makes him practice nonstop and won't let him leave, makes him practice three or four hours every day extra after the team. I felt like saying, ma'am, I'm the one who has to run him out of the gym so I can go home and eat at night. <laughs> I remember one night that he told me later on that he said, I, I wanted to see how long you'd stay. And about 8.30 or quarter to nine, he says, that's it, I'm not, I'm not staying any longer, let's go home. With Lachine coaching and Shaw scoring, Marino would not lose a single game in 1969 and 1970. The Rams would win state titles and Shaw would win scoring titles. And because of what had been started, Vlasheen and Marino would go on to win five more basketball titles from 76 to 80. Well, he was one of the big keys, I think, especially originally. He got a lot of tradition going. I think he, a lot of kids idolized him growing up and stuff. Shaw, meanwhile, played two years at Northeastern Junior College in Sterling and two more at New Mexico State. 
or making the move from a player to a coach. He spent his first six years at Yuma, winning a state title in 1981. Then it was off to Sterling, and success followed, as did his reputation as a legendary player in Northeast Colorado. Yeah, well, I mean, we were aware of, of who he was and, and what kind of player he was growing up. Um, but back then, he played pickup with our guys, you know, almost every day, and he was the best player on the floor each and every day. So we, we, we were aware of what kind of player he was or uh, reputation that he had as a player. Shaw would lead the Tigers to an undefeated season in his state championship in 1984. Then, in 1986, he made the move to Rocky Mountain High School in Fort Collins. He would spend 16 years with the Lobos, followed by five seasons at Smoky Hill High School in Aurora. During that time, Shaw's teams were always among the best and were winning consistently. However, a state championship at the big school level had eluded him. The biggest thing I learned in coaching is uh, the golden rule doesn't apply as far as me, you know, that you treat players like you'd want to be treated because I, I learned early in my coaching career that nobody I was coaching was like me. Nobody cared as much about the game, nobody worked as hard. And that doesn't mean I, I didn't have good kids, I did. And it, it, that was very hard at early points in my career because uh, I wanted them to love the game as much as I did. And obviously, uh, that just didn't, didn't happen. And when I lost, it, it was devastating to me. And, you know, they thought, like most people with common sense, the sun's going to come up the next morning and you're going to go on with life. And some of those losses really, uh, and some of those seasons really hung on for me. But I still love the game. If you would have told me back then that, you know, after 84 that I'd never win a state championship, I wouldn't have got out of coaching. Then in 2007, Shaw left Smoky Hill. He took the job at Regis Jesuit, a program that had been down for many seasons. I, I had no idea when uh, some members of the, the Regis community came to me about would I be interested in looking at Regis. I, I told them no, I didn't think so. I, I just didn't know if it would be a fit for me, but they said, hey, we'll buy you lunch. Uh, do you want to come and talk? I said, yeah, I could use a free lunch. We're going to have to move and we're going to have to set some screens. So we're trying to do everything on the dribble, aren't we? Aren't we? Okay. You got to pass, you got to move. Okay? Be patient. The year before I came to Regis, they were uh, three and 20 and a, a good coaching friend of mine that that i had, had known said uh after i took the job he said well do they have any talent and i said well I, I didn't think it was as much about lack of talent as just i had a belief in myself three years later shaw has turned regis into a state power winning back-to-back -back titles in 2009 and 2010. All in all, Shaw's won four state championships and more are likely to follow. And the impeccable work ethic and incomparable passion for the sport of basketball that made Ken Shaw a great player makes Ken Shaw a great coach. The most organized person I've ever met. I mean, uh, and he's not doing it with technology that kids use today. Um, he's paper pencil and he's making sure that he's detail oriented in everything he does, whether it's, be, whether it's the uniforms, uh, practice gear, X's and O's, stats from previous years. Um, you know, he just does everything first class so that kids feel like it, the program is very important and they should take pride in it. I look at this and I don't know every school in the state, but I don't know of anybody that works harder at their program than we do, my coaches and my players. We go out about 11 months out of the year and we work really hard at, so it's not like, you know, well, I need the summers off or I need a break here or whatever. I, I like being around my players and I hope they like being around me. He strides the sidelines with tranquility, rarely showing outbursts of emotions. Shaw's teams take on his personality. They are always disciplined, and they are offensive-minded. And of course, when you have one of the all-time best shooters in Colorado's history as your head coach, Shaw's teams can always shoot. Old guy I coached with, Willie White, I just talked to him the other day, and he still subs. I mean, he used to be the baseball coach at Littleton when I was there, and he, he said, yeah, I subbed for over at Regis, and 
Kenny Shaw was still up in the gym shooting their stuff during the day. So I imagine he could probably still rattle off 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 free throws in a row. It wouldn't surprise me at any time. I, I shoot every day. Uh, I, I don't play with them anymore, uh, but uh, I don't bring up my past to them. I don't think that's, that's something that you know, has much relevance. Uh, some of them might hear about a little bit here and there, but uh, I just try to focus on, on what we're doing now, and I'm their coach, and uh, hopefully they believe uh, when I tell them something that I know what I'm saying. Well, we hope you enjoyed that piece there on Ken Shaw. Again, that dates back to 2010, part of our Colorado Coaching Legends series here on CET. And I think one of the neat things about that, you really get to understand how good of a player Ken Shaw was and just how good of a shooter he was, one of the best uh, the States has ever seen. And I think above all, whether it be player, coach, we all know just how good of a person Ken Shaw is. Ken, congratulations on win number 700.